Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian bringing you a mole mortar team for my squat army. Now, mole mortars were kind of a big thing back in the days of the Compendium. Um, most armies used mole mortar, or the Imperial Guard used mole mortars, and um, the squats and various other factions used mole mortars. Mole mortars were an interesting thing. They were mortars that drill underground instead of flying over the top. The uh, best thing about that was you ignored shields and things like that. So you could hit large vehicles and stuff and they couldn't get the uh, shield save, the, 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 the Aegis save. Um, I, it's not really around much in the game these days, but um, I, I don't actually remember seeing a more mortar in battle for a long time. But when it came to doing my squats, I had two figures left over. Um, I decided to do the squats in ten-man squads instead of seven. Um, and I, I thought that was a good idea at the time. And when I'd finally finished working the army out, I had two spare figures. Actually, I had three spare figures. Um, one became a wounded trooper for the medic, and uh, this these two became a mole mortar team. So these are this is a, a standard mole mortar. It's made out of the Imperial Guard mortar. I've just put a bit of milliput around the base to make it look like it's stuck in the ground. The well, the, the bombs, mm, um, moles, moles, the moles. Uh, the moles are standard mortar round and I've cut the top of the mortar round off and I've put a screw head on top of it. Which was actually a lot harder to do than, than I thought. Um, it's actually quite hard to saw through screws. Just thought I'd mention that in case anyone thought of doing it. I think I should have just got some milliput on the end and, and sort of done some tweaking with it. Or green stuff, whatever. Um, right, uh, so this is a Brotherhood mole mortar. Um, same stats as a standard Brotherhood squat, so check that video. Uh, the mole mortar itself has a range of 60 inches, which is pretty good, and it ignores cover. So that's useful. Um, you ignore the enemy's cover save because the shell is going off underneath the, the troopers so the cover doesn't actually apply to them. That's actually really useful as a weapon. Um, they're also equipped with last pistols and last guns. Now, they have Oath Swan, I've already discussed that in other videos. Ancestral Grudge, again, also discussed in other videos. The next thing is kind of a squat rule for heavy weapons that squats had originally in the game. And that is suspensors and targeters. And what this means is, is that any heavy, heavy weapons that the squats carry can move and fire at the same time. Now we do have that in the modern game. Um, I forget what the rule is, but there's a rule for Space Marines. Uh, some of the Space Marine chapters have the ability to move and fire with heavy weapons. Um, I think Tyranids have that as well. Uh, I think Tyranid heavy bioweapons can fire and move. Um, but the squats were the only army to originally have that rule, as far as I can remember. Or at least the armies I own. Um, so, actually, no, actually, on top of my head, I think Death, Death Jesters were heavy weapon originally. They were Harlequins from the original game, and I think they could fire a move as well. Okay, I've just corrected myself. Um, but it's kind of useful. It's just the thing is... That is a rule that existed for the squats back then, and I kind of am applying it to these now. I'm not really sure how that would work with a mortar, <laughs> just, but well, I guess it could. So maybe you just carry the mortar, fire the mole, the mole actually does all the work, and then you can move on. I don't, I don't know. Um, but that's that's basically it. Um, I would like eventually to get hold of some more, some more dwarf figures, and... Um, do a, a full weapons team of, of thud guns and mole mortars and stuff. I don't know where I'd get the thud guns from, um, but I could certainly, I've got loads of spare mortars which I could use, um, so that would be an interesting thing to do. Um, but I think I'll have to get them from eBay because Gears Workshop no longer makes the figures. Um, this is a downside to this army. Um, the figures are in limited supply, uh, so you, you'll probably have to get them from uh, eBay or wherever too, if you want to do the same sort of thing. Or you could just use the Space Marine version of the troops. Um, that's the Space Marine version 
of the squat. Um, is it, this is the new cast of the body at the least, is the new cast of figure and that is the old cast of dwarf. So you can see the difference in scale as well. But it's entirely up to you how you do it. it it's your game after all. And that's it. Uh, I just class it as an Imperial Guard. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave any comments in the comment section. It's a short video this one because there's not a lot to discuss with it really. Um, so thank you very much for watching and uh, I guess it's goodbye.